Uh, we got to show our people. It's the extra that people want to see. You said it's the extra. What do you mean by that? You said it's the extra that people want to see? That's the reason I stopped. What, what is the extra that you stopped for? I don't know. I feel like I'm the only white girl standing here. I know, but why but did you... What extra would listen, I be Listen, listen, listen to my question. I don't think you answered it. Why did you stop? What was the extra that you're talking about that because made you stop? this is the first corner I drove past and seen men in purple jackets standing on it. So the extra brought me here. What? The what? Extra, what is extra? The what? extra. You're saying the extra. Is it? Is it the purple? The purple jackets, yes. Is it, so you never seen me men wear purple before? No, no, I no, I, not like this right here. No, I have not. What's I, your name? My name is Samar. What is your name? It don't matter. I'm okay, it don't here. matter. That's my car. Okay, but you check know this out. Check this family. out. Check this out. You know the come family no, 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 that no, no, hurt you a hundred years out. ago? Come around. They're the not family. here no more. Come, come around. You they're said not, what? The family that hurt you, your family a hundred years ago? They're not here no more. But your their 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 descendants is still right. here. But right. is that not me and, and are you? you and, and it's not the descendants still reaping the benefits. Yeah, we all are. We're all exactly. negative. It, it's, we're all negative. So you might get a point. You're proving a point. Uh, I'm proving a good point. Give me uh, wisdom of Solomon twelve and ten. Give me another. Check this out. Check yeah, this bring out. up some knowledge. Who are, who are the blacks according to the Bible? I just want to ask you that. I don't know it. I don't know because we are out here for I'm the blacks, just, well, Hispanics, just, and Native Americans. And, I'm and guess what? what? And guess you, what happened to me? You and your nation is in the Bible as well. You know that, right? We're all in there. We're you're all, we're right. all a child of God. And your nation is the Edomites. Right. Those are oh, enemies oh. of God. Right. right. The so, Edomites uh, are the enemies of people? God. Yes. So you're telling yes. me I'm the enemy of God? Yes. Bring it are you According serious? to the Bible. Give me that. Are you Give me that right now. Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 10 first. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12 and verse 10. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12 and verse 10. But executed thy judgments upon them by little and little. Thou gavest them place of repentance, not being ignorant. I'm a young woman that isn't 100 years old and I didn't do anything. Check this out. What's your nationality? Wait, wait. Check this out. 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 Check this we are teaching Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be, the to Bible be according to no. To be no. Listen, watch this. Racist. Romans 8 and 16. Read. Man, Romans 8 verse 16. Uh -huh. The we're Spirit is so birth witness. Why are you yelling hey, in listen, the listen, microphone listen, in, listen. in my you ears? You can't. You can't. So back up. Back up. That's all you got to do is back up. Y'all right. came to me. I'm sorry. Listen, no, I'm we sorry didn't step up to you. You came to us. I came right here and y'all came to The Spirit is so Bears witness Man, with our spirit. People, so the spirit of the kind. Bible bears what? record to whom what it's speaking people? to. Read. That we are mind. the children of God. So the oh, Bible is God. saying who are the children of God and who are not. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because this isn't racist. This is what's happened in history. And that's what we're showing what? the people that are listening that this historically happened to the and children we of God. We are. No, we, we have No, we have it. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. So yeah. And it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Only God's chosen people were these curses going to fall on. So, Everybody knows about slavery, right? Did you know that slavery was predicted in the Bible? We're going to show you in Deuteronomy chapter 28 the curse that fell on God's chosen people. Not everybody. Not everybody. Read verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So let's find out what happened in Egypt. What happened to Egypt as to why Moses would mention Egypt? Read. Oh. Exodus 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt. So he said, by the mighty hand of God, he let Moses take the people out of Egypt. Read. What is Egypt now? Read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of slavery. The place of slavery. So when we read it in the curses, 
The people are supposed to know that if you break the laws, statutes, commandments, and judgments of God, the people of God will be in bondage, right. in right. slavery. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Uh, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. But you don't need a ship to get from e Israel to Egypt. From Egypt to Israel. There was no ship included in this. So what is he talking about? This is this is future prophecy right. of us going into the Atlantic slave trade. That's right. From the sub-Saharan slave trade. That's what it's talking about. Not all nations went through this curse. Not all nations are going through this curse right now. Right. Give me 28, 28. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. Uh -huh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment. So right now, the blacks, the Hispanics, all of them are under this curse. Why can't they be better? Why can't they work as a community? Why do they get it? Why do they hood look the way that they look? Read. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. How come they don't know how to pull their pants up? Why aren't they educated? They've been free from slavery. Why can't they get ahead? Why can't they be like the other nations? Because they're mad and it's astonishment. It's astonishment how long we've been here and we haven't figured this out. Read. And thou shalt group at noonday as the blind groupeth in darkness. So just like the blind can't see, you won't be able to see your salvation. What? You won't be able to figure it out because the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans do not understand what God requires of them. Right. What's that, Deuteronomy 4 and 12? Or is it 12 and 4? What God requires. This is what God requires of the children of Israel. And if this was everybody, this is how this world, this is how this nation would be running. Read. Deuteronomy 10 verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God. So how do we fear the Lord thy God? Because everybody said they fear God, but it doesn't look like it. Today is the seventh day. You're supposed to remember this day as a child of God, what? as a follower of God. Anybody that's buying, selling, working on this day is an enemy of God. Who hate God. What? Read. To walk in all his ways. Who's walking in God's ways today? Who can you point out and say, this is a man of God. This is a woman of God. This is a child of God who is sincerely walking in fear. Read. And to love him uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. See, everybody wants to quote this from the New Testament, but this is where it came from. Right. This is how you fear God. What? This is how you love God with all your heart and with all your soul is to walk in the commandments, to do the commandments. Right, right. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. So everybody within the sound of my voice today, you've been marked, you've been told what to do, how to love and to fear God. This is the truth. This is the heart of the matter because God's people do not know. We don't care if you don't like what we're saying because we're not here for you. Right. Read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. We're teaching the so-called black man how to keep the commandments of God. That's what we're doing. Read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. God is telling the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans how to live right. How to not go to hell. How to not kill your brother and whore out your sisters. Right. right. Give me that in um, Isaiah 1 and 3. But the issue is, our own people, they don't want to hear it. Right. We get asked all the time, why y'all always yelling? Why y'all making so much noise? Well, we ain't even got to make noise and brothers will drive by and roll that window up. Right. They got to they hear this truth. Uh, we got to show our people. It's the extra that people want to see. You said it's the extra. What do you mean by that? 
You said it's the extra that people want to see? That's the reason I stopped. What What is the extra that you stopped for? I don't know. I feel like I'm the only white girl standing here. I know, but why I did you... Extra would listen, I listen, 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 listen to my question. I don't think you answered it. Why did you stop? What was the extra that you're talking about that because made you stop? this is the first corner I drove past and seen men in purple jackets sitting on it. So the extra brought me here. What? The what? Extra, what is extra? The what? extra. You're saying the extra. Is it? Is it the purple? The purple jackets, yes. Is it, so you never seen me men wear purple before? No, no. I, no, I, not like this right here. No, I have not. What's I, your name? My name is Simone. What is your name? It don't matter. I'm okay, it don't matter. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Okay, if it don't matter, let me tell you something. I'm gonna say what you're scared to say. You saw a group of black men coming no, together right. out on no, the corner I'm not, I'm who are not, not fighting not and who are not killing themselves. Not That's right. the extra no. that made you stop. Right. What is it that these Negroes hey, got to talk about? No. Can I have that first? No, you cannot. Why? You can step back. Okay. Check this out. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what you say. Y'all say, y'all say, y'all take it, check it out. I'm I'm a, saw I'm because y'all you. are in purple Give jackets. Me, you don't see this on every corner. I wanted to see what it was about because today is Sunday. I miss Saturday. I miss church okay borrow me sunday I go Sunday has nothing to do with, it with, is with about God. God. No, I Sunday do want to Sunday. learn about God. So, so you know out. what? I thought I, I thought I could get you. to learn something really nice here. And all you did was tell me that I'm a piece of scum. No, so that's no, what I said you that. told me. Who was it? Which no, one nobody told you it's in the Bible. No, no, because that's not in the Bible. You but, no, you already told me besides, that. Besides that, no. You know, no, but I was here a minute ago. Romans 8 is what I told you. Right. It's that Romans 8 is what I read to you. What? To prove that by the Spirit is the children of God. It right. shows who right. the children of God is. And that's, that's what white so, want. So check this out. I've never mentioned white people. When I, 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 I never was mentioned here, When so, I was here 30 minutes ago, what but did you say Let's to me? reset, ma'am. Let's okay, reset. reset. You said you want to learn something about God. Mm -hmm. So you said you stopped because of the extra. you never seen men in purple like this. I'm going to show you what the prophet himself saw and what you see right now. Okay. Read. Ezekiel 37 verse 10. Uh -huh. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them, and they lived you know that, and right? stood up He's upon fine. their feet, an exceeding great army. Oh, so I'm going to explain it to you. Time for him so me. we're going to read it, and I'm going to explain it. Okay. So Bring what it he out. just read is Ezekiel prophesied, okay. just like we're prophesying right now to the wind, to okay. the people. Okay. And what he saw when he prophesied is a great and exceeding army. Uh -huh. What you see before you is that great exceeding army. And you know what? I've had white people behind me. I've had black people behind me. I've had Mexicans behind me. And you know what? What? They've all fucked me somehow. <laughs> Honest to God, true. People, people are evil. What? And, and yeah. people are evil. Now, what we're teaching. So who did what? So what we're so teaching. So who should I be against? You, you should the be against people. The group purple. Give me, what is it, Psalms 96? You know, rise I mean, up against. I'm not against I'm just trying to figure out learning something. Watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Into this loud, at, at, at because her. everybody got to hear us. Right. Everybody. everybody. Has, Watch oh, this. this one corner ain't going to be this. everybody. Hold this. Give me, uh, what is it, Isaiah 58 one? I'm going to explain. Self-esteem makes a big thing. Don't this, this, you see self-esteem. Self you you see it right thing. here. Sure. Same thing I'm doing right now, ma'am. I mean, who did you do it to? What are you talking I do it. I did it last night on the radio show. This is what we do. We read the Bible and tell our people. Bring it up. Bring up. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. So what we have to do is identify who the house of Jacob is. What? What's your nationality? I'm white. So you're Caucasian by blood. That's who your father is, right? Uh. I know my birth certificate is white. So what? All right. Oh, maybe so, this Caucasian, whatever the Caucasian other. white. Hey. That's who your father I is. Know. So, you are not identified as the house of Jacob. 
So that's what we're speaking to. That's where you felt offended by saying, well, we supposedly said that you were scum. No, the Bible doesn't say that you're scum. Oh, no, you said we're the one, that I'm the one that brought slavery, the white people. Well, that is I a fact. That, I didn't. I your didn't. nation. I, know, I didn't. My your mom nation. did and my grandmother did it. Your grandmother? Now, your grandmother was a slave owner. I know owner. my grandmother did Give not give no slavery to any white man. Deuteronomy 28, 28, and I, I still want what so I want in the song. Everything else you can talk. Deuteronomy 28, 28. You know Watch what? this. My grandmother. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemy. So the Bible says that the children of Israel, as a curse, will serve oh, their enemies. So now you're saying that since my grandmother offended the black people, my you didn't, you, my, you didn't offend, do you? you. No, my, my grandma, I didn't offend anybody. I didn't because I'm having a conversation with y'all just like you are me. Exactly the same exact way. Uh -huh. So anyways, my grandmother, a long time ago, I don't know what she did. I don't know who she was or what she was even. Do you know your grandmother pretty closely? Yes. I didn't. See, I, see I, my grandmother, she, grand, she, she worked for white folks. Right. She worked for white folks to take care of her family. My, my grandmother. I didn't right. know what my white grandmother did. She, so, she worked for the other Bible people says to take care that of her this, white children. So the Bible so says that the children of Israel will do what? Say so what? Therefore, so, shall thou serve thy enemy. So my great-grandmother, so great she served her enemy, which was the white folks, the right. Caucasian race. Uh -huh. Just as the Bible says, read. Which the Lord. So sin against thee. So God sent the God sent this enemy, and today is the exact same thing. Who's the CEO of Walmart? Bring it out. Bring it out. A, a Caucasian. Seven years and get paid shit. A, a, a Caucasian. Okay. Who what was the government? A Caucasian. Who sets the rules, regulations of the world? Caucasians do. So the Bible is saying. So the Bible is saying. You didn't choose it. You didn't choose it. God chose it. And it's telling you how he chose it. Read it again. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. So what we're telling the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is that you are going to serve your enemies in the one of all things. That phone, that car, the clothes, the drink. The Sprite that you love so much, the Dr. Pepper that you're drinking right now, you have to serve your enemies to get it. This is a curse from God that he said that he was going to put on our people for our sins. That's what it is. So what we're asking is Psalms 96. What God is asking from for his people, okay, Psalms right. 96, read. Psalms 94, verse 16. Yeah. Who will rise up for me yeah. against yeah. the yeah. evildoers? So who's going to rise up against the evildoers? Yeah. Against the Caucasian race? Against society? Who is know. going to keep God's law? Because we tried it by marching. That hasn't worked. We tried it by voting. That hasn't worked. We tried it by being economically sound that has not worked read who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity who's going to stand up against the evils of um iniquity right all you have to do is denounce christianity denounce being a nigger that's right right denounce being a beaner right right Denounce being a Mexican. Right. Denounce being an African American. What right. Because that's not what your God given name. Cracker. Cracker, what about That cracker? is not your God given name. It's not. That's not it's who not. you are as a people. You have to denounce Sunday worship. Right. It's not, not you have to denounce Islam and all these other gods, all the holidays that's and traditions be that you've been given right be now. Islam. You about to spend your whole check on Valentine's Day. Right. What does that have to do with Christ? What does that have to do with God? What does that have to do with loving your nation? Bring it out! If you celebrate these things, you are a hater of God. You are with iniquity and not against it. So who's going to rise up 
against these simple things in life. Right. Because that's what's plaguing us. Right. That's what's keeping us under these curses. Right. That's what we have to work. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Bring it out. Verse 15. No, 16. This is why we're in the slums and the ghetto. Right. Every time you move up a little bit, that that uh, prosperity that you do get, taxes get raised. Inflation gets raised. You was just about to come up. And guess what? Your feet gets wet from underneath you because you have to be shown that you're still a slave in America. Read. Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city and curse shall thou be in the field. See, the significance of this right here, you Israelites right here in this car, the significance of, hey amen. Don't lean on the sun. Don't lean on the sun. So go sit in your car if you got a bad hip. Move around. You're an Israelite according to the Bible. I was just trying to get off my hip. So if you got a bad hip, go sit in your car. You can listen. The speaker is loud enough. Don't lean on our signs. This is my last time telling you. This is my last time telling you. He told you and he told you. I'm not going to say it again. If I had a microphone, I would put it up to my face. And I said, okay. This is what we have to deal with. This tyrant right here. This is why you can't keep the commandments. Because every time we get together in unity, you have this Edomite tyrant who whispers in your ear. Right. Tell you, no, you ain't got to do that. Do it my way. This is why we're still cursed, because you listen to your oppressor, right. the enemy. He makes laws for you. Just a few years yeah, ago, you couldn't smoke weed perfect. legally. You yeah, used to have to hide it. Now, he said that it's legal. You, st- you, you do it. God never legalized weed. He never legalized smoking weed. He never legalized it so you can get high. This is why you still curse in the city. Because you listen to your oppressor. Deuteronomy 28, 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. And curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall you be in the city. That's why you gangbang here. You don't go to the suburbs and gangbang and do the nonsense. In the white communities. In downtown. You're cursed in your city. Full and you're you're um, a little bitty town. you're pushing that same hatred in your community. Right. Right. Yeah. You sell drugs in your community. You steal it within your community. Right. This is yeah. what the Bible is preaching against. This is why we stand on these corners to tell our people to get out of that mentality. Stop up. listening to that horrible rap music oh. that degrade you and your women. Right. Most of those people that are bringing out those that music, they have a family. They are married. Right. Right. They honor right. their marriage. Right. They just push that garbage to the community. That's right. right. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.